Hello everyone, my name is Tyler with My Computer Works, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to change the wallpaper on your cell phone, right? So your smartphone that you carry around with you, you can change that background that you have, you wanna make it more custom, maybe you're getting bored of what you're seeing, like for mine right now, I just have like the built-in uh, wallpaper, right, for the example, so maybe you're rocking that built-in wallpaper as well, and you're just not really about it, you don't like it, you want to change it, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Now, I am using an iPhone, but the instructions that I'm gonna be showing will transfer over to Android as well, pretty easily, pretty seamlessly. Uh, there might just be a little bit of changing in the words, the wording or um, where you actually go on the phone is all gonna be the same though, like going into the settings, changing the wallpaper, how to get images safely uh, to use as a wallpaper on your phone, um, all that is gonna follow for Android as well. So come follow along with me as I show you how to one, get safe, images online for backgrounds in case you don't want to use your own photos and then two how to change your system into light and dark mode and then how to change the wallpaper on your phone and change i'm also going to show you how to change the icon size real quick because it's all kind of in the same area and it's very easy so let's check that out follow me along as i show that on the phone okay everyone here we are on the iphone and i'm going to show you how to actually change first the system um, colors or system theme from light to dark okay and so to do that we're just gonna take our finger and we're gonna long hold on the wallpaper somewhere that we have currently and we're gonna hit edit up there in the top left when it appears and then customize and now we have the option to actually switch from light to dark mode or automatic where it kind of decides for us throughout the day or tinted which is kind of where you can like pick your own color of what your icons are gonna be, which is kind of cool. You can do like a darker uh, light green or blue or whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna just go with the dark setting. I like dark mode. And then here at the top above those options for the theme, we also have the options for um, the icon size, okay? So it's set to small right now. I'm gonna swap it to large. And I like this a lot better, I like this dark theme I like the large icons so we're set there but still not liking this wallpaper right that's what we're here for I want to get a cool image in uh, on my background screen okay so first off I'm gonna scroll over go to settings and then I'm gonna go down to wallpaper pretty self-explanatory open up wallpaper and here we are now there's some custom made ones in here like some preset ones um, and some custom ones that I've made, but I'm going to show you how to make a new one today because that's what we're here for. So I'm going to hit the add new wallpaper option, okay? They're going to try to get me to customize one here with some of their featured items if I want. They give me that option. Um, I don't want to do that. They also give me the option to make my own. So I'm going to hit photos, okay? And oh no, I only have one photo. I have this photo here of my cat and I don't wanna use that one as my background. Maybe my lock screen though, but we'll get to that in a second. Right now what I want is I want a better background. I want uh, an image that I can use that's not just my cat, right? So I love my cat, uh, but like maybe maybe I wanna, let's do like a cool sci-fi background, okay? So I'm gonna open up the Brave browser on my phone, okay? And uh, we've talked about Brave before. If you're going to use a browser on your phone on your on your mobile phone i highly recommend brave uh it's really great for for blocking trackers and and ads keeps you a little bit more private online is a little bit more optimized for your cell phone so check that out okay so we're going to open up brave and i'm going to go to google.com okay here i am at google.com and i want like a cool uh let, i'm just going to put in like iphone sci-fi HD for a uh, high definition uh, wallpaper. Okay, cool. Let's check out the images. Whoa, we've got some pretty cool stuff. I really am digging this like Space City one right here. So I think I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so this is important. Anytime you go to download wallpapers or you go to get wallpapers from online, don't hit any big red circles or any big red words or words that say download, okay? If you're bringing an EXE file to your phone, or you're downloading an exe file when trying to get wallpapers that's not good okay on iphone and android you can just long hold on the image and do save to photos it should be a jpeg it should be a png file heic file it's some sort of image file if it is an exe file that's a bad sign or if it takes you off to some weird website 
bad sign, okay? So you can see there, I just went to Google. I didn't go to the website. I just expanded the image to see it a little bigger. I held down on it with my finger and I pressed save to photos, okay? So now when I go back into my settings and go into my wallpaper here, I'm gonna have to close out my previous session here and reopen settings so we can see that change. Back into wallpaper, add new wallpaper, photos. There is my new photo that I just downloaded from online, this cool sci-fi background. So I'm gonna select it. Image quality is absolutely horrible because it's just not optimized. So I could always go look for another image that maybe fits my phone better. For the example though, I'm not gonna worry about it, okay? Now they do have some options to add filters from right here and make small edits. You can actually even add widgets, like things that you want to show on the home screen or on the lock screen, okay? Um, again, you can even customize the item, uh, what, what you see there, right? So I have my flashlight and my camera, but I could put something else there, like my phone or a different application. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the basics right now. We'll swap it over to a black and white and hit add. Now, right here it gives me the option to customize my home screen as well, okay? So I really don't like the way it looks on my home screen. So I think for that one, we're going to go ahead and do the cat photo. So I'm going to choose that one for the home screen. Absolutely perfect. Cute little cat there in his domicile. And now at the end of my wallpaper section, I have this wallpaper, okay, which is actually set as the current. It already set it for me. So if I go out, there's my cat, and if I were to lock my phone, I'd be seeing that sci-fi background that we had, okay? So that's a really quick tutorial, everyone, on how to change the wallpaper on your phone. I hope that this video helps out. Um, again, be really, really careful when looking for um, any sort of images online. If you're gonna download wallpapers, if you're gonna go look for wallpapers. I always see, whenever I go look for wallpapers, I always see a whole bunch of results for like websites where, where you go to and they try to get you to download them. That's where things get harmful. That's where viruses, malware, bad things come into play. OK, so um, if you're going to steal one from online and I know because I know people do it, I know people go looking for wallpapers online. Try to do the method I showed where you either um, or even safer, actually ex get the image open and take a screenshot. Right. So uh, we have a video how to take a screenshot. You could always take a screenshot of the image and then use it as your wallpaper um, or hold down on it and do save to photos. Don't ever download anything that's an EXE. If it's going to your download folder um, it's and it says .exe at the end, that's a bad sign, okay? So be safe, find safe, high quality images online and go set up some new wallpapers, customize your phone. We love to see it, okay? Uh, if anybody has any trouble, post your comments down below. I'll help you out if, if you're on Android and uh, maybe the instructions were a little different for you or you were having trouble following let us know down in the comments i'll try to help where we can and if you're having trouble with your technology and you want further assistance please reach out to my computer works via the number at the beginning and the end of the video it's also down in the description this is what we do we'd be love we would love to help you out with your technology not only fixing it but also learning how to use it but while you're down there i'm going to say it as i always do if you haven't already hit that subscribe uh, the more, the merrier. We love bringing these videos to those who need them. And we want to bring them to more people who need them. So go ahead and hit that share too while you're down there if you have time so that more people can see this video. And hit that like if you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all on the next one.